Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Thursday, November 30th, 2017. Just want to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice, not making any recommendations always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here with video number 302 in our regular Tuesday, Thursday morning video series. Hope you've had a good week so far. Yesterday was an interesting one. So with that, let's get into our video for today. We always start off with a look at the Russell Index. I use the Russell as my simple proxy for the markets overall. As long as the Russell is moving higher, I'm adding new names to my watch list. And for my look at the Russell, I use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And I step back to take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. I like that bigger picture look. So we've been keeping an eye on this wedge pattern here on the Russell. These are the monthly candles. As a reminder, this blue line is long-term support resistance. We're kind of ignoring it for now. And really paying attention, this orange line is medium-term support. The black diagonal line is our short-term support resistance. This is the one that we're really paying attention to in our videos these days. We want to make sure that price on the Russell stays above this black diagonal line. So as a reminder, this wedge pattern has been taking shape since the beginning of the year and the black diagonal line offered resistance from the beginning of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September had a bullish candle and for the first time pushed us up and over this black line. October was a little bit of an undecided doji-like candle for the month. And now the candle for the month of November has a bullish orientation. As we said on Tuesday, it had a little bit of a flat top here, which didn't show too much conviction to the month. But in the last couple of days, we've had positive price action pushing price on the Russell up and over our black diagonal line and giving the candle, for the most part, a bullish orientation look. It's the last trading day of the month. Anything can happen, so we'll take another look at this candle when the month is complete. I'm going to move it away from the monthly to the uh, two-year weekly and show you again. This is the same orange line, same black line. We want to make sure that price stays up and over this black line. I use this blue line as my guide which is the 8-day EMA. I like to see price in the Russell up and over the 8-day EMA on the daily chart, but it's worth noting it's up and over that 8-day on both the daily and the weekly. Now I'm going to move it into the smaller time frame, the daily. So we can see same orange line, same black diagonal line, um, up and over the blue, which is what we want to see. But we had a little bit of an interesting candle yesterday in that price kind of got exhausted through the day, came in, and created which might be a topping candle. We'll see. The futures are off to a really healthy start today, so maybe this candle will get negated. But I want to keep an eye on that and make sure that no other weakness comes into the market. Worth noting that technology had a rough day yesterday. So we're looking at the technology ETF XLK. That's a big red bar. That's a lot of selling. Uh, it might just be a rotation in the market because the Transports, IYT, had a really nice day, as did the financials. XL, we're looking at XLF, which is the ETF for the financial sector, and IYT, which is the ETF for the transports. So worth keeping an eye on those things and keeping them in mind. But with price on the Russell currently up and over that 8-day EMA on the daily chart, and the future's looking pretty healthy this morning, I'm adding a new name to my watch list. And so that new name I'm adding to our watch list this morning is Diamondback Energy Inc., ticker symbol F-A-N-G, trades on the NASDAQ exchange. Before I get into the chart, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. Diamondback is an independent oil and natural gas company. They focus on the acquisition, development, exploration, and exploitation of unconventional onshore oil and natural gas reserves in the Permian Basin in West Texas. Um, you know at Chart of the Day Cafe, for me it is all about the scores underneath my chart pick. 
I focus on value first, growth second, and this one has an excellent, excellent, excellent value score, as well as a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 43%. Rarely do you see numbers like that, 43%. That's a big wow. It's got a current PE of 19.01, but it does not pay a dividend. Normally I look for a dividend payer. Uh, Diamondback does not pay a dividend, but the chart looks pretty compelling to me, so I wanted to share it with you. So let's get back to the chart. We're looking at the two-year weekly. As you can see, it's in an uptrend overall on the two-year weekly chart. Um, it's coming into this area. Sorry about that. Um, actually, I'm going to pull it back to five-year. It's, it's a relatively new company. They only started uh, trading publicly in 2012. Let's take a look at the monthly chart because I want you to see we're in an area of, I call it sky is blue. If it makes it through this area here, there's no overhead resistance. It's never been higher. So this is prior resistance. We're right at that area right here right now. Um, but in a continued strong market environment with those scores, I suspect that it might get through. We'll see. But I love the look of this chart. So I'm going to move it away from the monthly back to the two-year weekly. And you can see that there's this little wedge forming here in this very interesting area. So this would be prior resistance. I don't want to clutter my chart up too much, but I want you to see that on the long-term two-year weekly chart, this is the area we need to get through. And now I'm going to pull it into a smaller time frame so you can see how price is trading on the daily. So we're creating this little wedge pattern here. So It'll be interesting how it trades in the next few days, but I love to see a pattern like this because for me, it indicates energy building up in the chart. It's only going to go one way or the other out of this wedge. And in a continued strong market environment, with those scores, my thinking would be that it would go this way. So I'm going to move it away from the nine month to the three month so you can better see the wedge, the indecision yesterday. So I will be looking for this one to start trading up and out of this wedge. We will see. So as a reminder for me, I know everyone has their own way of doing things. I like to see price move up and over this blue line, which is the eight day EMA. So I will be looking for FANG, Diamondback Energy, to show some strength here. We had a doji yesterday, but I want to see it lift up and out of this wedge and up and over the blue. You can use, as we talked about recently, the simple 3 and 8. So when the pink line, which is the 3 EMA, moves over the blue, we're good. And as long as it stays over the blue, we're good. So I'm looking for that look here. So I want to, I'm going to zoom in and say when the pink moves over the blue and up and out of this wedge, that would be where Diamondback gets interesting to me. So it's a little early yet. You might have to be patient but I'm keeping an eye on this one for sure. Along with our new watch list pick, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in, and for that we're looking at XLE, which is the ETF for the energy sector, two-year weekly chart. You can see that like FANG, it's in an uptrend on the two-year weekly chart, and I would identify this area as support resistance here, and it looks as though it may want to lift off of that area. I'm going to pull it away from the two-year to the nine-month, but you can see that it had some lift yesterday. We want to see that continue. I also like to look at seasonality, and for that I go to equityclock.com. Excellent, excellent site. Love it. And you can see that this is the uh, seasonal chart for the energy sector, and you can see that it does come into seasonal favor at this time of year, so nice to see. Um, I also like to uh, go to Finviz and see if I've got analyst support for my watch list pick. And as you can see, it's pretty positive, a lot of reiterations and initiations, but um, for the most part, pretty positive. Also, uh, I'd like to flag a couple of articles, and this one is a recent one from Investors Business Daily, dated November of this year. Energy stock with a thousand over a thousand percent growth nears the buy point. I will include this article. Of course, it's all about FANG. Um, and a couple of other articles as well. And so to summarize, let's go back and check the boxes. I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index, and we note that overall the Russell's in an uptrend with price up and over the 8-day EMA. 
on both the daily and the weekly chart. Having said that, we noted the candle from yesterday had a little bit of price exhaustion to it. So we want to watch carefully today to see what kind of follow through we get. We looked at the sector that our watch list pick is in, XLE. It's in an uptrend on the two-year chart and at an area of possible lift and support. We looked at the chart for FANG. It's in an uptrend on the two-year chart and like XLE at an area of possible price continuation out of that wedge we looked at. It's got an excellent value score. I'm underlining it because it is so high. The, the value score is really excellent on this one as is the growth score. Forecasted earnings growth rate of 43%. Rarely do I see numbers that high. That's brilliant. It does not have this box check because we it does not pay a dividend and it does not have a 3 and 8 EMA daily cross yet. That's the trigger that I look for. It does have seasonal favor. It does have analyst support and we talked about that sky is blue. No overhead resistance if it gets through this area on the chart. It's got a current PE of 19.01 and has not announced earnings yet. As a reminder, these videos go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. If you like receiving them, please subscribe to my YouTube home channel by hitting the red subscribe button. That way you get the videos as soon as they are released. With that, I'll say goodbye, have a great weekend, and our next video goes out next Tuesday. Thanks for watching.